Hi, hello, and welcome to Post 16 Careers Week, hosted by Stockport Council and Stockport Jobs Match. I'll be one of your guides, my name's Ari. And I'm Ali, we hope you'll find these short guides useful, to start conversations and spark ideas. You can always go to the website for more detailed information at stockportjobsmatch.co.uk. Don't forget to use the Virtual Careers Expo, visit the stands, and see what the providers have to offer. Today we're going to be looking at how transitions to post-16 might make you feel, and what support is available to you. The next few years will hold some important decisions for you, and it's perfectly normal for this change and responsibility to make you feel nervous, excited, frustrated, scared or even angry. It's important not to rush into anything, take your time and think about what's right for you. Likewise, don't ignore things. These decisions need to be made, and if you prepare for them they will feel easier, and you will have the best options to choose from. Making decisions about your future career is important, but it doesn't have to be scary. There's lots of support available through guides, testimonials, websites and most importantly, friends, family, teaching staff and other agencies. All you need to do is start the conversation. As part of Post 16 Careers Week, we've created some worksheets, which will help if you're not sure where to begin. You could start by identifying the things that you need help with. Is this something that you already have support in place for? For example, extra time for assignments and in exams, overlays and colored paper, space to escape to when things are overwhelming, a communication support worker, or access arrangements. If you need a little more support, or particular arrangements to assist you in your education, then periods of change can be especially unsettling. You should know that there are people around you, and organizations who will understand your concerns and can help make the transition easier. You should also know that everyone makes mistakes, and this is part of growing up. You can change your mind, change your goals, change your direction, and at some point you more than likely will. Not everyone knows what they want to do for the rest of their lives at your age, actually. I bet that if you ask the adults in your life, most of them didn't know, and stumbled into their careers. I'd even go so far as to say that if you surveyed most adults, a large percentage of them would say they still don't know what they want to be. But I bet all of them would agree, that finding something that makes you happy, that interests you, and that you find rewarding is the real goal. To do this you need to stop and think about yourself, and what you would like to achieve. We briefly mentioned earlier in the guide about support you might have in place at your school, or with your provider. This can be transferred with you, and if you have any concerns there will be dedicated departments, or staff, to make sure that you have access to all of the support you need with regards to your education, health and welfare. There are laws and regulations in place to make sure that individuals are treated fairly, and this applies to education and employment. Don't be afraid to ask for help, or hesitant to let a provider, or employer, know how they can make adjustments. If at any point you feel overwhelmed, make sure you tell someone. Likewise, look after your friends, and if they tell you something that makes you feel they are struggling, don't be afraid to tell a member of staff. Trust your instincts, the last couple of years have been hard for everyone. There may be other concerns in your life right now, such as moving home, living on your own, or moving into semi-independent living. If this is the case, you may be entitled to higher rates of bursary, additional financial support, and if you are leaving care, a personal advisor who will help you make a pathway plan. If you find that events outside of education or employment are creating obstacles, try to alert someone to the issue earlier rather than later. Providers are experienced in dealing with a wide range of issues, and they will look to assist and support you as much as possible. On your 16th birthday, or somewhere around then, you will receive your national insurance number. This is a very important reference, which ties your HMRC account to you, your pension, benefits, tax and right to work are all associated with this account, so keep it safe. When you apply for an apprenticeship, job or post-16 course, you will be asked to provide evidence of your identity, as well as either a bank account or a building society, into which your bursary or salary will be paid. At 16 you can legally change your name, and you may also want to change your gender identity. You can do this by either statutory declaration, or deed poll. This might be a sensitive subject but know that providers and employers can't legally discriminate. 
Currently, the only two records for which you need a gender recognition certificate to change your sex are your HMRC records and your birth certificate. Living on your own, traveling further, and kicking out student loans to pay for courses and other expenses can be very dear. You might be entitled to student bursaries, grants or benefits as well as meal vouchers and help with materials and trips. Financial worries can have a big impact on your mental health, and it's important to talk to someone early if you are struggling. To help you with your finances, and to build your CV, whilst you are a student you might consider getting a part-time job. Remember, that once you start full-time employment, or an apprenticeship, you won't be eligible for a full-time study course. There may also be changes to other household benefits and taxes, such as child benefit and council tax, that your status change might trigger. A part-time job will help you develop many of the skills a future employer wants, but it's easy to get distracted from your studies once you start earning money. Keep a balance between work and study, and stay focused on your goals. Well, that's definitely all we have time for. We hope this guide has been helpful and offered some reassurance. Thanks for joining us, and please take some time to visit the Virtual Expo, and the resources available at stockportjobsmatch.co.uk slash careers options.